Oh man, guys, I'm so glad we decided to sit around and eat our favorite candy today. Wait, dude, what kind of candy is that? You've never heard of goobers? They're chocolate covered nuts. They're amazing. Hey, Junior, I got some nuts for you, but they're not chocolate covered. More like flesh. What's up, my Snickers? Get it? Like my candy bar? I like Reese's. Hey, 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 everybody, listen up. Nobody lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Got it? Okay. Good. Hey guys, you wanna play basketball? Yeah, let's go play basketball! Yeah, let's yeah. play two on two! Alright guys, we're gonna play two on two. So it's gonna be me and Junior versus Cody and Jeffy. But that's not fair, I suck at basketball. He's right, Joseph, he does suck at basketball. One of us should play with Cody because we're really good. How about you? What? Why do I have to play with the nerd? Because you have a darker skin complexion, Joseph, which means you're good at basketball. <sighs> you are right, I am a god at basketball. So the best player at basketball has to play with the worst player, the whitest kid here, which is Cody. I guess it's me and Cody versus Junior and Jeffy then. Alright, so first person to get one basketball wins. But that's a short game. If you don't want to play basketball, just say so. What did they go? <laughs> Jeffy, block Joseph. I'm what? trying. Oh, dude, Cody, open up. Catch. I got it. I got it. Oh, no. Butterfingers. Grab it, Jeffy. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. No. Oh. Oh. Whoa, get ducked on. This is my house, bitch. Whoa, we won. Cody. Dude, what the hell was that? You're supposed to catch the ball. I'm sorry, Joseph. I just ate a Butterfingers and now my fingers are all buttery. No excuses. I never lose at basketball. You're not my friend anymore. Yeah. Uh, Joseph, my Butterfingers. <sighs> Joseph, don't be mad. It's not my fault. It's the Butterfingers. No, don't blame that Butterfinger. You're just ass. You're ass at basketball. You should be nowhere near a court. Well, I mean, I am ass at basketball. I guess you could say I'm asketball. Guys, calm down. Let's just watch TV. Cody, can you turn the TV on? Yeah, sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, damn it. Dude! What, how'd you drop the remote, Cody? It's the Butterfingers, I told you. Oh, go wash your hands, dude. Yeah, wash your hands, Cody. Okay, fine. Let me grab the remote. Okay, let me wash my hands. Damn it, I can't seem to grab it. Come on, hands, grab the handle. Damn it, they're still slippery from the Butterfingers. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Okay, guys, I'm back. Did you wash your hands? Yes, uh -huh. I did. Well, we just ordered pizza. Yeah, dude, we're starving. Oh, good, because that Butterfinger was just a snack. Yeah, the pizza will be here any second. <gasps> It's here! Yay! Cody, can you go grab it? Uh, oh, I, I don't know. Uh, it's your house. Shouldn't you grab it? Well, you washed your hands, right? It, yeah. So you could grab the pizza, right? Uh, maybe. Cody, come on. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hey there, I have a pepperoni pizza and some cheese sticks for a junior. That's me! All right, that'll be $10, please. Here you go. Oh, sir, if you could just please crumple that up and just throw it in the yard. You want me to crumple up the money and throw it in the yard? Yeah, because that way it'll be like a game when I have to go find it later. Okay. Yay! If you could just grab your Pepsi now, please. Cody, can you grab the pizza? Yeah. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind grabbing that pizza, I don't have the energy to bring the pizza inside for you right now. If you didn't notice my search button, because the last lady's house I went to, she didn't have money to pay for your pizza. So she paid me in another way. She gave me raspberries and beat me up. It was so hot. So if you can just grab this pizza, I appreciate it. Uh, I'll try. Grab the pizza, Cody. Uh, 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 uh. What? You dropped the pizza, Cody! Hey, no refunds! Uh, my Butterfingers, Junior, my Butterfingers! Did you wash your hands? I lied! Uh, oh, man! Wait, what happened, dude? Cody dropped the pizza on the ground. What? You were supposed to wash your hands, bro! I couldn't turn the faucet on. Well, thanks, Cody, for ruining our pizza, because I'm not eating carpet pizza. Shit, I eat this carpet pizza. <laughs> I eat pizza out of dumpster. <laughs> Come on, Cody, let's go ask Chef PB to cook us something else. Okay. Chef PB, can you make us something to eat? Ah! Julia, get in the fire extinguisher! The kitchen's on fire! Cody, grab the fire extinguisher to the pantry! Really? Me? Yes, grab it, Cody! The house is the... No, grab it, Cody! Damn, put some pep in your cell! Grab it! Fine. Where is the stupid fire extinguisher? Oh, there it is. Oh, god damn it. Shit, there's a fire! Good thing I got cups of water. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, here you go. Fire neutralized. Wait, hold on. There's a little tiny. Oh God! Okay, there we go. Now the fire's neutralized. Thank you so much, firefighter. Thank you. You're welcome. Listen, guys, I cannot pick up that fire extinguisher. Too late, Cody. The fire department already came and put out the fire. Yeah, no thanks to you, Cody. We all could have died, and it would have been your fault. Well, hey, if you wanted the fire extinguisher that bad, you could have gotten it yourself. Oh, I could strangle you right now. Hey, Chef Baby, can you make us something to eat? We're hungry. I'm not making anything else. The ramen's burnt. Look, you better order something. I give up. Oh, come on, Cody. Dude, what was all that noise downstairs? I heard screaming. Well, there was a fire in the kitchen, but Cody... 
Cody wouldn't grab the fire extinguisher. What do? Do you want us all to die? I couldn't grab the fire extinguisher because of my butterfingers. Bro, I'm getting tired of this butterfingers excuse. Me too, Cody. What are we gonna eat now? Oh, dude, um, I'm kind of full off this crappy pizza. Yeah, and I still have my free medium French fries I get from McDonald's every week. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, damn it! My butterfingers! That's it, Cody. Come with me to the bathroom. I'm gonna wash your hands. Please do that. And I'm gonna eat this piece of crust in frustration. Mm. Come on, Cody. We're gonna scrub your fingers till they're squeaky clean. Good. Junior! Come downstairs! I need your help right now! Hold on, Dad! Don't tell me to hold on! Not in my house! Come downstairs right now! Come on, Cody. My dad needs me. What do you want, Dad? I want you to meet your great-grandmother, Janice. See, these are her ashes. Wait, why are there two vases? Oh, that's because Janice was a big bitch. See, we needed two vases, almost three, but we just left a little bit behind. <laughs> Who's gonna know, right? <laughs> that's cool. So what do you want us to do, Dad? I need you to take your great-grandmother upstairs to my room so I can see her and remember her. Uh, okay. Yeah, so uh, everybody's gonna carry a vase, all right? Oh, I, I can't hold it. I don't wanna hear that. You carrying something in my house, so you'll carry the big one since you wanna complain. I don't think I No, can. no, you better carry it. You better carry it, girl. Ah! Ah! Tell my grandmother, Cody, I hate you. I, 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 I'm sorry. Hey, Cody, let's get out of here. No, 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 you ain't going nowhere. You look, look, grab my grandma right here. You taking a small vase since you wanna mess up. Uh, listen, dog, it's just gonna happen again. I don't wanna hear that shit. Take my grandma upstairs, boy. Yay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, that one's on you, though. Jesus! Grandma, you're all on the floor! Cody, I think it would be best if you just go home. Can you please help me wash my hands first? Wait, what happened now? Cody dropped the ashes at my great-grandma. Jesus, just tell us you hate people already. Somebody please help me wash my hands. I am begging you. All right, Cody, we're going to go straight to the bathroom. Nothing's going to distract us. Let's go. There's someone at the door. No, no, we wash my hands first. That's rude. You're just going to leave somebody at the door just waiting? Yeah, Cody, that's rude. You have no manners. That's what's wrong with you. Come on. I need to wash my hands. Uh, hold on, Cody. I got to tie my shoe. You answer the door. Okay. Hello? Hey there. I'm Steve Stalberger, and you're on the hit TV show, Hold That, that baby. baby. Oh, no, Junior, I can't hold the baby right now. You do it. Sorry, Sonny. We chose you. All you have to do is hold the baby for five seconds, and you'll win $10,000. $10, so let's see what baby you're holding today. Tommy Pickles! Oh no, not Tommy Pickles. All you have to do is hold him for five seconds. Go on. Uh, I can't. Are you refusing to hold this adorable baby on live television? Uh, no, no, I like babies. Well, you wouldn't want all of America to think you're a baby hater, do you? N no. Well, go on, hold him. <laughs> Did you just drop the baby? Yeah. You're a baby dropper! Everybody boo him! Boo! Junior, I can't believe I just dropped Tommy Pickles on national television. Oh, dude, I saw that. That was so crazy. Everybody hates you, man. Not me! I loved it! <laughs> You're such a bitch, Angelica. Get out of here. Go play with your doll or something. Sit Gosh, she's so weird. She plays with dolls. I'm just gonna grab Ken and get out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, damn it! I can't even hold on to Ken! Look, Cody, we're gonna go wash your hands once and for all. Oh, thank you, Junior. Look, just hold on to my hands so nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> okay, Cody, this is the only bar of soap we have in the whole house. You all use the same bar of soap? Yeah, it's the family bar of soap. We don't want to waste any money, so we just take that bar of soap and rub it between our butt cheeks. Wait, what is this, the Great Depression? You can't afford more soap? Look, Cody, just pick up that bar of soap and wash your hands with it. Okay. Oh! <laughs> now I'll never clean my butter fingers. That's it, Cody. Put your hand under the water. Junior, water's not gonna get the butter off these fingers. It's just gonna make them more buttery. Well, we don't have any soap unless you want to grab it from the toilet. No. So you're not gonna wash your hands? I can't. Oh, okay, you know what? That's it. Get your stupid Ken doll and leave. <laughs> okay, Cody, pick up Ken and leave. But I'm just gonna drop him again. Wait, he didn't wash his hands? He dropped the bar soap in the toilet. Oh, dude, there's no hope for him. Just bite into him and pick him up. But I don't want to put teeth marks in him. Usually I'm pretty good about not using my teeth, but I guess it's the only way. He's too heavy, I can't do it. Pick him up with your hands. Okay, I'll try. Okay, I can do this. Damn it, it's not gonna work. All right, Cody, I don't know what to tell you. You dropped the bar of soap, I can't help you. <gasps> Junior, I have an idea. It's a little weird, but it will work. What? I need you to suck the butter off my fingers. Oh, I ain't with that freaky shit, bro. Oh, no, Cody, what do I get out of it? Uh, I'll give you 50 bucks. Show me the money. Okay. Uh, there it is. 
I mean, he didn't say money was on the line now. Okay, Cody, I'll do it. Just hurry up. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> boner alert. Boner alert. I have a boner. Shut up, Cody. Give me the other hand. Okay. Ooh, yeah, I'm into this. I think I discovered a new kink. <laughs> Okay, it's done. Okay, let's see if it worked. <gasps> it worked! I don't have butterfingers anymore! Uh, quick question. Why can't you lick your own fingers? What? Why couldn't he lick his own fingers to get the butter off, dude? Why did you have to do it? Haha, <laughs> Junior! I didn't have butterfingers all day! I just wanted you to suck my fingers! <laughs> I have a boner! That's a fake 50. Here. I want to play a game. No, Billy, we don't want to play your games. Leave. Oh, come on, Marvin. It's just a really quick card game. It's called Find the Ace of Spades. I don't want to play your stupid card game. I see the AIDS needle right there. No, you don't. It's right there. Oh, come on, Marvin. Just put your hand in there and grab a random card. If I grab a random card, will you leave? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, what card should I grab? Oh, my God. He just stabbed me with the AIDS needle. You know Oh, my God. Call a doctor. Marvin, look the news. <laughs> Breaking news, okay? The cure for AIDS has been found. Me and two other people are the reason. Let's go to our interview now. Ah, you scared me. Hello, it's me, Mr. Goodman. I'm here with Dr. Brooklyn T. Guy and his nurse Susan Smith. Dr. Guy here found the cure for AIDS with nurse Susan using the money I donated to fund the research. We did it, guys. No more AIDS. Woohoo! Oh my god, they have a cure. I'm saved. Perfect. We have to get you to the hospital. Let's go! What? They have a cure for AIDS? <laughs> no, my life is over! I'm nothing if I'm not giving random people AIDS! <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna get my revenge on that doctor and the nurse and that rich guy. Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead! What, what, where the hell am I? I would like to play a game! Oh, Jesus, Billy, not you again. Oh, it's me again. So, you like curing AIDS, huh? Oh, that's what this is about? You're mad that I cured AIDS? Yeah, and since you like figuring out really hard stuff, I got a lot of really hard stuff for you to figure out. Oh, please, do tell. So... How's your day going? It's been pretty shitty. Oh, perfect! Because I'm about to make it shittier. That's great. So, you are currently strapped into an electric chair that is set to go off in two minutes! Two minutes, got it. So you see a spoon, yeah? Let's just say it's not a spoon for eating booty pebbles! Yeah, I didn't think it would be. So you're gonna take this spoon and you're gonna dig out your eyeball with it because I put a key behind your eye. And once you get the key, you're gonna use it to unlock this saw to cut off your right hand. And once your right hand is cut clean off, I personally will give you the code to turn off the circuit breaker, to turn off the electric chair. Ready, set, go. No, 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 you stop that timer. I have questions, okay? What questions do you have? Okay, well, like, why do I have to do all this stuff? I mean, I feel like a normal person would only have one of these tasks. I feel like you had a lot of ideas, so you just did all of them. Because you pissed me off. Okay, but, like, I have only two minutes to, like, scoop my eye out with this spoon. I I'm going to need at least five to work up the courage. Well, you only have a minute and 40 seconds now. No, 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 you're going to stop that goddamn timer because you need to explain some things. <sighs> Fine. What do I need to explain? Okay, well, like, you didn't even tell me what I am supposed to scoop out. Okay, that's for you to figure out. No, 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 this is bullshit. You need to explain this. Okay, I guess I'll give you a hint then. Let's just say, I hope you pick the right one. Okay, my right eye, got it. Wait, 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 hold on. My right or your right? Right. Wait, no, no, you need to give me something more to go on than that. Okay, let's just say, lefty Lucy. Righty tighty. What the fuck does that mean? That doesn't help at all. That's more confusing. I wish you hadn't even said that. Enough questions. Go. What? No, but like what? Okay, okay, fine. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go my right then because you're a trickster and you like jokes and that's the one you would pick. I don't know. Oh, Jesus, just shut up and let me do this. Oh God, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Okay, I got the eye out, but I don't feel a fucking key, Billy! Where's the key, Billy? 
Well, I guess you did it, Pepfa. Right, Juan. Oh, God damn it! I knew you were gonna pull something like this. So you tricked me with the lefty Lucy thing. I thought you meant my left eye was loose and your right. Well, I told you like three times it was your right eye. God damn it! Okay, okay, I'll do the other one. Just give me a minute, okay? I need a minute. Are you sure you want to take a minute? You're running out of time. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. God damn it! Just. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I got the key out, but my eyes are all dangling and I look like a snail. Well, I really hope you're not as slow as a snail, because you only have one minute and four seconds left. Okay, okay, I'm gonna unlock it. I just... I can't see with my eyes like this. Oh, let me help you, buddy. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. Ooh, okay. Okay, guy, here we go. Okay, all you gotta do is cut your hand off and you're free. You're doing a great job. Hey, how much time do I have left? 46 seconds. Okay, could you, could you give me another minute? This is gonna hurt really bad. No! I gave you a hand earlier when I helped you with the lock. Now it's your turn to give me your hand. Okay, okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, okay, I cut my hand off, Billy. What's the code? The code is zero. Zero. Hurry up. Zero. Like, what the timer would be at if you didn't make it. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, zero. zero. I can't see with my eyes like this. You said it was three zeros. Yeah, it was three zeros. Okay, zero, zero, zero. Okay. Uh, okay, I did it. Oh, man. You turned it off with one second left. Wait, why did I even have to turn it off? I could have just gotten up. Oops. Oh, by the way, the saw that you cut your right hand off with was covered in AIDS, so you now have AIDS! <laughs> okay, well, we cured AIDS, so that's not really a problem, but I guess I'll go put my eyes back in. Oh, man, baby, I'm so glad they were able to cure my AIDS. Yeah, I'm glad you're okay, Marvin. Hey, guys, you're never gonna believe where I just got back from. Brazil? No, not Brazil. Greece? Okay, you can stop guessing. Where'd you get back from? Well, you remember that creepy little clown from Saw Billy? Oh, yeah, we saw him earlier. <laughs> Yeah, well, I saw him, too, when he strapped me up in this contraption and I had to cut my hand off to get free. Wait, you had to cut your hand off? Oh, my God! Yeah, oh, my God is right. I mean, luckily, I put it on ice, so I was able to reattach it. But look, it has no feeling at all anymore. And the worst part is I had to scoop both of my eyeballs out with a spoon. Wh why would you have to do that? He's really pissed off that I cured AIDS. Oh, well, I mean, at least you escaped, so that means he won't go after you again. Yeah, let's hope. I am kind of worried about my nurse, though. I don't think he'll go after her. I think he's only mad at you. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Someone help me! No one can hear you. Who are you? The name's Billy, and I would like to play a game. What game? You are currently chained to a wall with a bear trap behind your head. A bear trap? Now, now, now. I wouldn't move around too much. You might set off the bear trap. What do you want me to do? Oh, you like helping doctors cure AIDS. Well, I would like a little bit of help. You see, I have this sandwich that I wasn't able to finish earlier. I was wondering, will you help me finish the sandwich? Okay. Did I forget to mention that the sandwich is made from human meat? I can't eat that. I'm a vegetarian. Well, you better eat it in the next 60 seconds or else the bear trap will close on your head, exposing your brain. Ready, set, go. Okay, I'll try. Uh, oh, I can't do it. It's too disgusting. Oh, come on. The clock's ticking. Yummy, yummy. Oh, oh, you know what? How about I help you? Here, here, look. Here comes the airplane. Wait, wait. Can I, can I get some salt and pepper to mask the taste? Oh, let me check. Oh, I only have pepper. That's fine. Put it on. Okay. Answer! Answer! Mm, Susan's not answering her phone. I'm starting to get worried. I'm gonna go back to where Billy had me tied up and see if she's there. <sighs> what the fuck? Charles! Help! I slept with a kinky bitch again and she left me tied up! Hey there! Oh my god, Charles! She's hideous! She's a drunk too! She wears too much makeup and too much eyeliner! She's got a parent nose! She's one of those emo bitches! You know the words you say could really hurt! Listen, I'm sorry, but if I slept with you, I must have been drunk as fuck. Oh my god, we didn't have sex. Oh, thank god. Listen, I want to play a game. Okay, listen, I'll only let you suck it if you put a bag on your head and you shut up. Listen, I said I want to play a game. 
Since you like to fund the cure for AIDS so much, I want you to take this blowtorch and burn all your money. And if you do, I'll let you go. But if you don't, I'll cut your balls off with this machete. Cut them off. What? Yeah, I'll never hurt money. Go ahead and cut off my balls. Well, are you serious? Because I, I will literally let you go if you just burn this money. No, cut off my balls. If we had sex, then I definitely don't want balls on me anymore because I don't want the chlamydia to go any further. You know what? Screw this! <laughs> Well, as long as the money is safe. You know what? You game! You're gonna take this saw and cut off your legs. And if you don't do it within 60 seconds, the room will fill up with poison gas. And you'll die. <laughs> Charles! Help! She's a crazy bitch! I think I'm in love! What the? <gasps> Susan? Susan, does he have you trapped in here? What, what smells like poison gas? Oh, it's probably this poison gas machine. I should turn that off. Yeah, it's much better. Susan? <gasps> oh my god, Susan! She's fucked! Save me! Okay, okay! <sighs> hey guys, I'm back. <gasps> Did you find your nurse? Yeah, I found her, but her head was crushed in a bear trap. Oh my god! Yeah, and he cut Goodman's balls off. Which is good news for me, Marvin, because now I can't get hookers pregnant. Uh, you have to go catch Billy and arrest him! Well, that's the problem, Marvin. He's hard to catch. He's like a weasel. They made ten movies. I don't think he's stopping anytime soon. So all I can really say is, hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband, because he's killing everybody out here. Who's my little cuddle muffin? Oh, who's my little snuggle bear? I am my little strawberry shortcake. With a cherry on top? Of course with a cherry on top. Oh, with Are you guys on top? done? Jeffy, how long have you been standing there? Long enough to throw up in my mouth and swallow it. What do you want, Jeffy? I want some help building my Lego pirate ship. Jeffy, I don't have time to build a Lego pirate ship. But dang, it'd be really quick. It's only 1,260 pieces. And if it takes us 30 seconds per piece, that's only 630 minutes, which is only 10 and a half hours. So let's get started. Jeffy, I'm not going to assemble Legos for 10 and a half hours. Mar Marvin, you should spend more time with Jeffy. But my little cuddle muffin, I don't want to assemble Legos for ten and a half hours. Well, Booberry Bear, you could do the first five and a half hours, and then I could take over the, for the last five hours. But baby, I don't want to assemble Legos. Hey, Dad, check this out. If you buy me two more of these sets, we can build the pirate house and the pirate island. Then we have the whole collection, and that would be the tits. I'm not buying you any more Legos, Jeffy, until you assemble this Lego set. So how about this? If you assemble the Lego pirate ship by yourself, then I'll buy you the other two sets that you can assemble by yourself. How about that? One day, yesterday, I was watching this naughty video that had the exact same title. Three in one. Jeffy, I'm not going to assemble Legos with you, so take this to your room and assemble it by yourself. <laughs> Who's that? Hopefully someone to help me build my Lego shit. Oh, let me see what it is. Uh, hello? Help me! Help me, please! You have to hide me! Wait, are you Goodman's butler? Well, yes, but not anymore! It's a long story! Please! Hide me! Please! Uh, okay, come upstairs! Thank God! So, Marvin, who was at the door? It was Mr. Goodman's butler. My name is Chives. Well, Chives, what are you doing here? I had to run away from Mr. Goodman. I couldn't stand the constant bickering and nagging and him demanding me to say sir at the end of every sentence. Sir. Well, why'd you run away? Why didn't you just quit? Because he would kill me. You don't understand. I'm the 14th butler this year. I've seen things. Things he doesn't want the world to know. So if a butler wants to quit, he just kills them. Well, you can stay here. I, I promise you, he's not going to come looking for you here. Thank you. What? Who's that? That must be him. Please, you have to hide me now. I'll do anything. Oh, oh, oh hide in the bathroom. Oh. Okay, I I'm going to go answer the door and, and, and tell him he's not here. Uh, hello? Is shithead here? Who? That bald-headed bastard. What? I don't know who you're talking about. My butler, Marvin! What? I didn't even know you had a butler. Oh, stop tugging my balls, Marvin. I know he's here because I have a tracker in his colon. And my Find My Butler app let me right to your house. What, your Find My Butler app? Well, I didn't, there's no butler in my house. Your phone must be acting up. Oh, really? Because if I press this button, it'll shock his colon. You don't have to press that. I'm gonna press it. Well, don't, don't, don't press it. I'm pressing it. Found him. What? Hmm. The Find My Butler app says he's in here. He's not in my bathroom. We should go check another room. He could be in your shower. He's not in the shower. Let's see. <laughs> there he is. What? No, no, that's just my screaming shower curtain. I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, really? I would love to see it scream again. <laughs> 
Okay, look, I will pull back the curtain to show you he's not in the shower. Okay. Run. Oh, yes, these pipes are lovely. Master Marvin, I was just fixing your pipes. Thank you so much for hiring me again. Oh, thank you so much for coming. Oh, Goodman, old chap. I didn't even notice you there. Oh, old Marvin here, he was just hiring me to fix his pipes. Did I say you can leave the house, Chimes? Well, well, no, sir, but I... That is unacceptable. That is three spankings for you with the paddle. Is that the paddle with or without the spikes, sir? The spikes. You know that, Chives. Now go or my Lamborghini. Yes, sir. God, you're getting old. It's so hard to find good help around here, Marvin. Now walk me to the car. Uh, okay. All right, Chives. You know the Lamborghini doesn't come with heated seats, so I'm going to need you to pull your pants down and warm up my seat with your bare ass cheeks. Very good, sir. What are you doing? You don't have to take this. You can stand up for yourself. You can say, I don't want to work for you anymore, and stand up for yourself. <sighs> you know what? You're right. I don't have to take this anymore. I'm a man. Mr. Did you just raise your voice at me, Chives? You have a dirty mouth. You get in that car. Uh, 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 no, sir. I, I, I was just letting you know that I took the liberty to warm the baby oil for the butt spankings later. You rub that Vaseline all over those ass cheeks, Chives. Now get in the car! Yes, sir. Thanks for helping me find him, Marvin. You want to watch the spankings? Oh, no, I'm good. All right, he's going to get spankings in my car. Here it comes, Chives. Uh, one, sir. Stop tensing up. Marvin, what was that all about? I don't know, but I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Danny, since you don't want to build the pirate ship, can we make a Play-Doh pizza and eat it? What? No, Jeffy, you can't eat Play-Doh, it's poisonous. Oh, that's why I run out of Play-Doh so fast. But then why did they make it look like pizza? It's supposed to be like a joke. <laughs> I'm not laughing, Daddy. Well, look, how about we do something else? Who's that? Hold on. Hello? Marvin, please! You have to hide me again! I escaped Goodman and those powerful spankings! But he has a track on your butt. He's gonna find you again. I, I need you to help me remove it! Now, come! Marvin, who is at the door this time? Marvin, quick! Stick your hand up my rear to get the tracking device out! Marvin, what is going on? I'm not sticking my hand up your butt. I'll do it. No, you're not gonna do it, Jeffy. Fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Oh, it came out! Oh, thank God! Hurry, grab it so we can flush it! I I'm not gonna grab it! Oh, fine, I'll do it myself! Ew! Why'd you put it in your mouth? All right, Marvin, flush it! Okay. Good men will never find me now. Okay. Marvin, what is going on here? Look, there was a tracking device in his butt, and we flushed it so Goodman couldn't find him. Exactly! Oh no, that must be Goodman again. Marvin, please, you must hide me again. No, find your own hiding spot. Excellent idea. Uh, hello? Where is he? Uh, what's the bat for? I'm gonna beat his bald head with my baseball bat. This is my bald-headed baseball bat beater. Well, uh, I promise you, your butler's not in my house. My Find My Butler app said he's in the exact same spot that he was in last time. So I'm gonna go beat your screaming shower curtain with my baseball bat. <laughs> How do you like that, Chives? Pull the curtain back. Uh, okay. What? Uh, hold on. My Find My Butler app says he's right here. But no, he's not here. No. Oh, I see what you did. Wait, wait, what? You flushed him down the toilet, didn't you? Well, I can't flush him down the toilet. Flush me down the toilet, Marvin. What? Flush you down the toilet? Yeah, I'm going in after him. Flush me down the toilet! Uh, uh, okay. All right, Marvin. Flush me. Okay. I'm coming for you, Chives. I'm coming! Marvin, can you please tell me what's going on? I just flushed Goodman down the toilet. What? Thank goodness, sir! I was hiding under the sink five more seconds and I think he would have found me! You saved my life! I'll do anything for you, sir. I'll, I'll be your servant. I'll cut your toenails. No, no, that, that's fine. You, you can just go home. But wait, Marvin, he's a butler. He could take care of Jeffy and do all the things with Jeffy that you don't want to do. Uh, good thinking, baby. But you're so smart. Uh, yeah, yeah, he could, he could build the Lego set and, and, and the Play-Doh pizza. Uh, Chives, there is one thing you can do for me. Of course, anything, sir. I want you to be Jeffy's butler, you know, and, and do everything he says. Anything's better than working for good men, of course. All right, Jeffy, so this is Chives. He's your butler. He'll do anything you say. That is the tits. All right, butter pillow baby. Let's go to the bedroom. Okay, flutter by. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Y'all are gay. Indeed, sir. So, Master Helmet Head, what is your first request, sir? Well, first I want you to build my 1,260-piece pirate Lego set. 
That is a lot of pieces. It might take me a little while, sir. Yeah, it'll take you exactly ten and a half hours. Because with 1,260 pieces and one piece every 30 seconds, that equals 630 minutes, which equals ten and a half hours. So you better get started. Of course, sir. I'll be on that right away. Great. Ugh. There you are, sir. Your Lego pirate ship on 1,260 pieces. Huh. It took you 10 hours and 45 minutes. It was only supposed to take you 10 and a half hours. Well, you see, sir, there are many small pieces and my vision's not as good as it used to be. Oh, oh well. Let's go see if it floats. Uh, floats, sir? It didn't float. Oh, of course it didn't, sir. There's no water in the tub. Oh, maybe we should have put water in it. Build it again. Uh, I think I saw a plate of pizza set upstairs. How about we go do that instead? Okay, let's go make a pizza. Thank God. All right, sir. Your Play-Doh pizza is ready. Eat it. You want you want me to eat it, sir? Yeah, eat it. I would rather not. I eat it all the time. It's good. Eat it. Sir, I, I would rather not. I uh, said eat it. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Mmm, it's so good, sir. Take a real bite. Yes, sir. What's that over there, sir? Where? Oh, wow, that was so good. That was so delicious. I, I could have another. Oh, you ate it already? I'll just make you know. Uh, no, sir. I, I'm so stuffed from the first one. I couldn't dare. But why don't we do something else? All right. Here, make me some more balloons. Yes, sir. Sir, your water balloons are ready. All right, thanks. Do with them as you wish, sir. Oh, well, uh, it didn't break. Please don't do that again, sir. Uh, sir, good heavens! Don't, don't put that down, sir. That, that well, really that didn't break either. You know, uh, ow, sir. Sir, I, I must implore you, please. Let. How about we go do something else, sir? All right. So I decided you need to wear a uniform. Sir, I already am wearing a uniform. No, I think you need to wear something more formal. Put this on. Sir, this is a chicken suit. Yeah, put it on. Must I absolutely have to, sir? Did I stutter? I said put it on! You did not stutter, sir. I will get to it right away. I have put on the chicken suit, sir. All right, good. Now I want you to act like a chicken. Of course, sir. Bok. Bok bakok. No, that's not realistic enough. I want you to act like a real chicken. I will do my best, sir. Good. Now, I want you to color a page out of this coloring book. Which one, sir? Just pick one, any one of them, but it's got to be perfectly within the lines. Absolutely, sir. Right on it. Sir, your perfectly colored book as requested. Chives? What the heck? W whatever do you mean, sir? You colored outside the lines, you blind old fart! Oh. Idiot! Uh, sir, the ears were hard to see, and there's a beak in my face. Well, find another picture and color it perfectly, dummy! <laughs> You know what? No! I don't have to deal with this anymore! Not from you, not from Goodman! I quit! Good day, sir! I don't have to deal with this anymore! Oh, Goodman, old chap, where have you been? In the sewer, looking for your tracker that's supposed to be in your butt! Uh, that must have fell out when I used the restroom earlier, sir. Mm. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't have to deal with this anymore, sir! I'm finally sticking up for myself! I quit! Huh? Oh no, you quit? Oh, uh, are you working for Chick-fil-A? Is that what this is? Uh, well, no, but anything's better than working for you, you old bag! Wow, no one's ever stood up for me before. It almost, it almost sounds like you need to put this chip back in your ass! Good day, sir. Well, you know what? I got 20,000 different reasons why you should put that microchip back in your ass. Shall I warm the Lamborghini with my butt cheeks, sir? Indeed. Absolutely, sir. Get your ass back in the car. Jeffy, how's your butler doing? Yeah, you having fun? No, he quit. He quit? Yeah, but it's okay, Daddy. I got this new Lego set. And I know you were upset about the last one because it was going to take like ten and a half hours. But this one's only a thousand and two pieces. And at 30 seconds per piece, that'll take 501 minutes and just under eight and a half hours. Well, get started, Marvin. <sighs> okay, let's build this one. Jeffy, 
I'm not gonna put a headband on. I'm not in a gang. No, Dad, it's a game. I hold a word above my head and you give me hints until I guess the word right. That could be fun. Let's try it. All right, go. Ooh, ooh you have one of these in your nose right now. Boogers. What? No, it's yellow. My shirt. What? No, you can draw with it. Poop. What? No, it has a pink tip. My pee pee. What? No, you can break it. My pee pee. What? No, Jeffy, you can use it in school. AR-15 extended mag. What? No, it's a pencil, Jeffy. Oh, why didn't you just say that? <sighs> Who's at the door? Hold on, Jeffy, stay right here. Hello. Hey, Marvin. Oh, Goodman, what are you doing here? Well, I came by to tell you that I did one of those 23andMe DNA tests, and come to find out, I have a 99% chance of getting out of a speeding ticket, and a 1% chance of them randomly searching my car. You're 1% black? That's right, nigga. You can't say that word. Yes, I can. I have the pass. I've been saying it all day. I can't stop saying it. I was singing niggas in Paris in the car on the way over here. I think you have to be a certain percent black to say that word, Goodman. Wow, Marvin. After all my people have been through, we can't say one word? I guess I'll just take my reparations in the form of your house payment. I don't have my house payment, Goodman. Wow, the white man trying to bring a brother down. Speaking of brother, the DNA test also said that I have a brother from another mother. You have a brother? I sure do, and I invited him over to your house. Why my house? Well, because I'm rich, and I want to meet him, and I don't want to invite him to my house, because then he's going to see how filthy rich I am, and then he's going to try to mooch off me. Okay, so why would you invite him here? I mean, he's eventually going to find out you're rich anyway. I know, but I want him to think I'm as normal as possible. So what I want you to do is, is to create a nice steak dinner tonight. What normal people don't eat steak dinners every night? Well, I'm not talking about filet mignon, Marvin. I'm talking about an Applebee's sirloin. Okay, I'll ask Chef PB if he can make just regular steaks. All right, thanks, Marvin. I'm coming in. Goddamn, girl. You have to throw it back like that. I like that. Chef PB? Oh, hey, Marvin. You want to know what good pasta sound like? Yeah, nice and wet, but it's super tight. You know what I'm talking about? What are you even cooking? Oh, I'm making chicken alfredo. Don't you know the Pentagon is the most secure building in the United States with cameras all around it, but only caught four blurry frames of the plane crashing with no impact to the wings on 9-11? Yeah, I know it's a super long name, but damn, it's going to be delicious. Well, I was wondering if you could make us, you know, like a fancy steak dinner tonight. Come on, you know who you're talking to? It's Chef Penis. Of course I can make a fancy dinner. You know what fancy is? Okay, well, can you just make a steak dinner? Not too fancy, but just a, two steaks, please. Well, I can do it. I can do it. Go ahead. Leave it at the PP, baby. I got you, okay? Ooh, bon appetit. The big fake ones. Man, I really I did myself this time. This steak dinner looks delicious. Where was the shrimp caught? Oh, the freezer section of Walmart, duh. Hmm. And where was the broccoli caught? Also the freezer section of Walmart. Did you whack off in my Caesar salad? No, that's the ranch, you silly Billy. You didn't even use the right dressing on my Caesar? Look, this is a Chef PP certified meal. Definitely gonna give you diarrhea at the end of it. <laughs> Ask Marvin, ain't that right Marvin? <laughs> Oh, oh, that must be my brother at the door, Marvin. I'll answer it. No, 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 no. You can't answer the door too fast. Poor people answer the door fast because they have nothing better to do and they don't have a job like you. Rich people don't answer the door at all because they have their butler do it because they're too busy working. So we can't answer the door too fast and we can't answer the door too slow. We don't want to seem too rich or too poor, so we'll make them wait. He just rang the doorbell again. Make him wait. He's knocking. Make him wait. Really hard. Make him wait. Okay, now. Hello? Hello! You must be my brother, Mr. Goodman. I'm Mr. Hoodman. Excuse me for one second. Marvin, I didn't know he was black. You just found out today you were 1% black. Well, then he must be the other 99%. Hello! My name's Mr. Goodman. I am lower middle class. What do you do for work? Oh, I build Section 8 houses and sell it to the government for a huge profit. Uh, my portfolio's worth like four billion. Marvin, he's rich as fuck! I, I was just kidding about being lower middle class. I'm totally a billionaire too. Are you sure? Why would you invite me here? Well, because I wanted to show you that I too help out the poor. <sighs> this place reeks of poverty! I know! It's Marvin's house! I don't live here! I don't live on this farm! <sighs> Thank God, I didn't want my brother to be poor. Yeah, and you should see the dinner he provided for us. It's Walmart shrimp! Ew! Poor! And wild-grown Walmart broccoli. Ew! Poor! <laughs> Laughs and high credit score. Come on. Oh, indubitably. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Hoodman. Please don't judge me on this poor meal. I wouldn't even feed this to the homeless. Me either. Chives, dinner time! Woof! Woof! Here you go, boy. Dinner time. Uh, sir, I must say that I hate that you have me crawl around and act like a dog. 
this is an English short hair. He's like 900 years old and dog years. I think he's also a little bit retarded. Wow, what a nice mutt. Can I pet him? No, he bites. But when he shits on the floor, I rub his nose in it. That's because you don't give me a bathroom! Well, you had a litter box, but you fucked that up, didn't you, bud? Well, you didn't give me a scoop to clean it out with! You made me use my hands! And now where do you shit? My hands! Good boy. Now eat your Walmart shrimp and broccoli. Oh, it's going to give me the runs! I feel bad for your hands. <sighs> Sir, is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, you can get this shitty food out of my fucking face and bring me and my brother something more appetizing! Y your brother? Yes, that's my brother. So take the food and bring us something yummy. Oh, very well, sir. All right, here you are. Sir, fried chicken from Kentucky and grape Kool-Aid jammers for your brother. Charge, you racist fuck! But, but, sir, this is what you usually tell me to get when we have- Hush! Very well, sir. I'm so sorry, Mr. Hoodman. Chives was born in Alabama during those times. I was born in London. Spanking! <sighs> Very well, sir. May I do the honors? Oh, please, yeah, go ahead. You prejudiced bastard! How dare you bring me KFC, even though it's a delicious <gasps> meal! Now, Chives, you go shit in your hand and think about what you did. But, sir, I don't have to go! Miralax, now! <sighs> The whole bottle. Yes, and I want you to cup it in your hand and bring it to me and show me what you did. Very well, sir. Ugh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Hoodman. You need to teach your butler better manners. See, my butler, El Salvador, would never disrespect me. El Salvador? Yeah, El Salvador. Would you like to meet him? Sure. Oh, El Salvador! Bring your Mexican ass in here right now, Vamanos! The Totora the Explorer. Did you call for me, Mr. Hoodman? Smart. You hired your gardener to also be your butler so you didn't have to pay two people. I like it. Exactly. I either pay him in pesos or queso. Nine times out of ten, it's queso. I like it, the queso. And cheese and beef. You know I have the female model of this, and she rides around in my Lamborghini and gives me road things. Oh, I need the female model. Speaking of the Lamborghini, I was thinking about buying me one. Can I test drive yours? Sure. Anything from my rich billionaire brother. Here you go. Oh, thanks, brother. <laughs> May I converse in Mexican with your help? Oh, definitely. El Salvador, my brother wants you to speak your native tongue, horchata. Okay, so what you want to talk about? De donde El Salvador. No, I from Minnesota, but I was born in Arizona. Right. So how long have you been working for Mr. Hoodman? Uh, Mr. Hoodman picked me up from Home Depot today and gave me like $100 to pretend to be a gardener. Wait, so you don't really work for Mr. Hoodman? No, we Uber here, and on the way he says something about him stealing your car and selling it for scrap metal. What the fuck?! Hey, are you going to finish this chicken? De donde esta la naranja? So does that mean like no, or... No, come el pollo! I don't know what you're saying, I don't... No run, Hoss! Marvin! Marvin, I've been robbed, help me! Who robbed you? My brother, Mr. Hoodman! What'd he steal? He stole my Lamborghini! And I should have known he was gonna steal my Lamborghini by the color of his... suit. Because he had the exact same suit as me, and I know that the guy who made my suit told me that he was only gonna sell those suits to me. So that means he stole the suit too. And I also should have known that he was gonna steal the Lamborghini because he asked to borrow the Lamborghini. Ew! Borrowing! Everyone who's rich knows that the first thing you do when you get money is buy a Lamborghini. Okay, well, it, uh, how do you know he stole it? Because he hired some guy from Home Depot, and that guy told me everything. Okay, well, so if you really think he stole it, you need to call the cops. I'm gonna call the cops, Marvin. <sighs> Next time someone says, don't judge a book by their cover, I'm gonna tell them they're full of shit, because the cover of the book tells you what the whole fucking book's about. The title and everything. <sighs> Hey there, did somebody call the police? I did, I'd like to report a theft. Okay, what was stolen? My Lamborghini. Oh, nice car, nice car. Can you give me a description of the suspect? Yeah, well he's black and... Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Wait, did he have both his arms? Yes. Dispatch, we got a suspect armed and dangerous. Black. Don't worry sir. We're gonna get your car back, but it may smell like marijuana! Well, just please give me my car back, please! Will do, sir. There's someone at the door, I'll get it. Uh, Goodman, it was your brother. Oh, him! Him, the 
How's the guy? You're a rat. You're under arrest. For what? For stealing this man's Lamborghini and making it smell like marijuana. I would never. He let me borrow his car. Is this true? Well, yeah, but El Salvador said that he was going to steal my Lamborghini and sell it for parts. Damn it. That racist Mexican. He always tells jokes and makes me look like I'm a bad guy. Where's the ice? I'm going to get his ass deported. Wait, he's an illegal? Get your ass over here. No, senor. No. Get your ass back over that wall. Hey, yeah. No. Wow, Mr. Goodman, I can't believe you actually would believe that I, I would steal your car. Well, I it's not my fault. Rice and Beans told me you were going to steal my Lamborghini and sell it for parts. Damn, I can't believe you would think that low of me. Uh, I guess I'll see you in a couple of years when you actually mature. No, Mr. Hoodman, no! Uh, Marvin, help! All right, sir, I have shot in my hand. Good why boy. Why would he shit his hand? Because he doesn't have a litter box. Hey guys, ready to go to your first day of kindergarten? Oh yeah, Cody. Kindergarten's gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ooh. Yeah, dude, I can't wait for it. As long as they got nap time, I'm down. All right, guys, come on. All right, class, settle down. Settle down. I said be quiet. <clears throat> okay, class, we have two new students with us here today. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Uh, Joseph told me to do it. I tell you to do that, dude. Stop pulling hair. We don't do that. Oh, okay. Okay. Why don't you two introduce yourselves? I'm Junior. And I'm Joseph. Very good. Okay, Junior. Can you tell me what your bib says? Junior. Very good, Junior. You're so smart. And Joseph, can you tell me what's on your T-shirt? Uh, basketball. Fantastic! Yay! Oh, dude, this class is going to be easy. We're going to ace it. All right, I have another question for you, Junior. Can you tell me how many letters in the alphabet are in between J and R? I have no idea. Well, let's count. Let's see. J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. That's seven letters. I'll never use that information ever in my life. And Joseph, I have a question for you. Can you tell me what colors green and orange mixed together make? My skin color. Very good, Joseph! Good well, job. I guess so. All right, let's get you two assigned seats. Um, Joseph, why don't you go sit by Daryl? Bear, 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 the bear kid? Bear, bear, yes, go bear, ahead. Go. Bear, Just go. Bear, go. Bear, get out of the way. Okay, Junior, why don't you sit by your friend Cody? Okay. Go, go, go. Ow, 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 let go of it! Ah! Bear, 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 evil unicorn! What's up, dude? What's up? My name's Al. Oh, what's up, Alex? I like purple. See, I drew a purple carrot. Uh, carrots are purple, dude. But imagine if they were. Yeah, but uh, you got an orange crayon right here. No! Everything purple! Look, I even drew a purple cat, and I drew the color purple on a purple sheet of paper. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. Why don't you just wear purple, dude? My parents won't let me wear purple, because if I wear a purple shirt, I just stare it all day. If somebody wore purple, I would do anything they say. Oh, so cool, dude. Um, what's his problem over there? Well... He likes bears, but also apparently burgers come out of his ass. Oh, dude, I love burgers. What a burger's that? Um, this crayon tastes like lemons. Oh, let me get a bite of that in, dude. <laughs> Ooh, lemon flavor. <laughs> this is so awesome, Cody. I get to sit next to you. Yeah, it just sucks Joseph can't sit with us. Wait, Mikey, what happened to your bruises? We kicked your ass yesterday. My dad hits way harder than you guys. Plus, my skin heals really fast because I get beat every night. Oh, okay. I want to build the Empire State Building. No! What, what? Yeah, yeah, Junior, you don't want to touch Mikey's blocks unless you want to get cried at. Oh, what's this toy? I don't know, some hammer toy. The kids that sit on the ground used to have it, but they were only in the first episode. I don't really know what happened to them. I guess we just didn't really have enough actors for all the kids. It's okay, they weren't very interesting anyway. I mean, if people really liked them, then they would have commented, and I haven't seen a single goddamn comment. People really just like Mikey and Daryl and Freddy and the purple kid. All right, class, pay attention. Today is Earth Day, the day we celebrate the planet Earth. And we live on planet Earth. I thought we lived in Florida. Yes, Mikey, we do live in Florida, which is a state in a country on a continent on the planet Earth. So it's the Earth's birthday? Uh, yes, today's Earth's birthday. How old is the Earth turning? I don't know. Very old, like billions and billions and billions of years old. My mom died at 35. 
alive. Why couldn't she live to be a billion years old? Mikey, your mother was murdered. The Earth can't be murdered. Uh, what if a big enough asteroid hit the Earth? That way, I would kill it. Uh, in that case, the Earth would be murdered. Well, with the rate at which we're polluting the Earth with greenhouse gases, we are technically killing the Earth. That is also true, Cody. But let's not talk about how we're slowly killing the Earth on Earth's birthday. What's the Earth's favorite flavor cake? Alex, Earth can't eat cake because Earth is a planet and doesn't have a fucking mouth. But if it did, what flavor? I don't know, carrot cake. Oh, oh, I drew a purple carrot. You think we could give it to the Earth and he could eat the carrot? First of all, Alex, you spell carrot wrong. Your C is backwards. You know what? You know how we're going to celebrate Earth Day? We're going to go outside for a recess so I can go outside and get some oxygen for my brain so I don't have an aneurysm. Let's go outside. We just Frick yeah. Last one of the playgrounds a rotten butt. <laughs> I don't want to be a rotten butt. You didn't tell me you had recess. This is new to me. I'm a doctor today. I'm trying to figure out why I keep pooping in my pull-ups. Okay, cool. Let us know what you find out, Freddy. Recess, yeah! yeah. I'm gonna go ride the ducky. Oh, recess is so fun, dude. <laughs> All right, everyone out. Daryl, are you coming? Okay, you can stay. That's a really good duck impression, Alex. <laughs> hey there. Hey, little kid. Uh, you want some Sour Patch Kids? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah? Well, I got a whole bunch of them in my van. Come on. Oh, okay. Whoa, you guys get recess? This is the first time I've ever seen it. Oh, dude, this is so sweet. I could stay in kindergarten forever. Well, let's go down the slide. No, don't touch the slide. I'm king of the slide. King of the slide? Yeah, Mikey's king of the slide because he has the crown. Well, who made him king? Yeah, who made Mikey king? He didn't throw up. What? Yeah, I got spun on the tire swing for 15 seconds without flowing up. I threw up immediately, and then I pooped in my pull-up. Well, put me on the goddamn swing. That sounds easy. Yeah, I won't throw up if you spin me in a tire swing. <laughs> yeah, okay, come on. Mm -hmm. Behold, the tire swing flown. If you can be spun around for longer than 15 seconds without flowing up, you get the crown. That's so easy. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. I want that crown. Okay, let me strap you in. Strap me in? <sighs> Mikey, why'd you tie my hands to the swing? So you don't fly off. Oh, okay. Now lay back. Yeah. All right, Freddy, spin that shit. Okay. Oh, Cody. Oh, dude, have some dignity. Did you eat hot dogs for breakfast? I'm still king of the slide! I want to turn. Boys, boys, has anyone seen Alex? He was on the ducky, I think. That's what I thought. All right, that's it. Recess is over. Let's go back inside. But I want to be king of the slide. Oh, my God, Cody, are you okay? Hold my hair. All right, we're going back inside right now. No, 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 no. I got to be spun on the tire swing so I can be king of the slide. Maybe next time. Oh, Cody. Oh, Junior, I can't stop throwing up. <laughs> Up. Well, I didn't get to try because I know I wouldn't have thrown up. Everyone throws up except for Mikey. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> um, where's Alex? I don't know. Probably looking at something purple. Well, I'm taking a seat now. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no. Still no Alex. Uh, hey there. Oh, Principal Steinbeck, thank God. Is there a problem? Yes, so we were outside at recess and another student went missing. Oh, no, not another student. Oh, God. Yeah, we should probably notify the family. Oh, man, there's a monster out on the loose and he probably killed another kid. Jesus, not another one of our students. Oh, just don't tell the class, though. I uh, quick question. How's my son Daryl doing? Well, he's still pressing bear. Bear, 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 bear. <sighs> And that damn bear. Oh, he loves bears. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. What about the three in the back? Did you give them their exam yet? No, not yet. You should make it very hard for them. Like I am for you. Oh, my. <laughs> Junior Joseph Cody, come on up here. All right, boys. It's time to take your final exam in order to leave kindergarten. You must color inside the line. <gasps>
<gasps> so evil! That's not hard at all. Yeah. All right, pick your poison. Uh, I'll take the fishes, dude. Oh, those are fish. Yeah, I see the fishes, lady. No, there's two fish. I know how many fishes are on the paper, okay? The plural of fish is still fish. Look, I can see the fucking fishes. Can I just color, please? Okay, just go. Right. I'm going to go with the giraffe and the cow. Wait, giraffe? Okay, well, I guess I'll take the panda because it's halfway colored already. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm killing it. I don't really know what to do about this panda. Why? Well, because he's already black and white. He's already colored in. And I think his unicorn horn should probably be white. And the only thing I maybe need to color is his little bird friend. But he could be white, too. Anything could be white. The clouds are white. So I think I'm probably done. Well, you have to color in the sky. Okay, I will color in the sky. All right, well, I'm almost done with my giraffe and cow. Junior, that's not a giraffe. Yes, it is, Cody. That's a giraffe. Look, his long neck is poking out. That's a giraffe. No, that's a cow. No, that's a cow. This is a giraffe. You just can't see his body because it's out of the page. But if you could see his body, it would be this really tall body and his neck is poking into the frame. No, he's a cow just peeking into the picture. No, that is a cow. This is a giraffe. Junior, cows and giraffes don't hang out. Why? Because your mom doesn't hang out with a giraffe? Is that how you know? Well, she doesn't. Because she's a fucking cow? Okay, fine. Your mom's a big fat cow. She doesn't have giraffe friends? Junior, if you want to fail, fuck it. Go ahead. Oh, no, you're going to fail because you're not coloring your panda. I'm just going to color in the sky and turn this in. Okay, I'm done. Me too. Me three. Okay, let me grade your exams. Oh, Junior, I see you colored one cow correctly. Well, there's only one cow to color. No, there's two cows on the page. No, 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 no. That's a giraffe. What? You see? Look look how tall this giraffe is. He's so much taller than the cow because his neck is very long. You just can't see it because it's off the paper. Well, that's not a giraffe. That's a cow. No, no, no. That's a giraffe and that's a cow. No, there's two cows. Well, maybe if you're including yourself, there'd be two cows, but there's only one cow on the paper. I wasn't supposed to color you. Okay, well, you fail. No, I don't. All right, Cody, let's look at yours. Oh, I see you didn't even try. What? What are you talking about? Well, you only colored the sky and a little bit of the birdie. Well, that's because everything else was already white. I didn't have to color it. You couldn't color the umbrella a different color? It's a white umbrella with a white handle. They exist. It's whatever color I want it to be. Okay, and what about the ground or the water? Okay, let me explain. Okay, clouds, they're already white. I didn't have to color that in. Water doesn't have a color. Didn't have to color that either. And then, you see... The ground, I just assumed because it's a panda, it was snowing, and it's a white bird. It's like a duck or something. Okay, but I see you didn't color anything white. Well, I didn't have to because the paper's white. But the assignment was to color. Okay, but I didn't have to because it was already done for me. So you cheated. What, what the fuck are you talking about? No, I didn't need to color anything else. Like, look over here. Look at Joseph's. What a beautiful colored page. Thank you. Yeah, and look, look, look. Everything is so nice and neat inside. <gasps> Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that? It's, it's a red fish! No, you colored outside the lines! Yeah! All three of you fail! Oh, come on, that's bullshit! That's a giraffe! I'll see you next week! <laughs> oh, wow, this is dumb! This is stupid! I pass! That's a giraffe! Shut the fuck up! Bye! Want to have a tickle fight? No, Jeffy, I don't want to have a tickle fight. Hee 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 hee, Jeffy, stop it! Hee hee hee! Marvin, did you just poot? I hate that word! It's not poop, mommy, it's fart. Yes, I farted. Jeffy was tickling me and it slipped out. Marvin, that's gross! Hey, Daddy, I bet I can fart louder than you can. Nobody wants to hear that, Jeffy. <laughs> Uh, Jeffy, that was gross. Ew, man, get off me. Oh, what the? Marvin, did the couch just talk? Oh, uh, I got a mouth. Of course I can talk. He farted in my face. What, what the? What, Jeffy, is this a prank? Are you controlling the couch? How would I be able to do that, Daddy? I'm not even touching the couch. Marvin, how is this happening? I, I don't know. Uh, Mr. Couch? Hey, stop poking me, man. Wait, how long did you talk for? I could talk this whole time until you started farting in my face, pissing me off. Oh, okay, th that is it. I'm calling a handyman or the cops or someone that can, like, get an exorcism on the couch. An exorcist? Yeah, I'm calling that. Oh, man, where's the handyman at? I just called him. Oh. Hey. Were you just walk into my house? Yeah, I, I didn't know we were doing a door scene. Usually I just come right up to the couch and say, hey there, somebody call a, you know, whatever job I'm doing that day. So can, can you just kind of go back up there so I can do my thing? You're kind of throwing me off. Yep, yeah, sorry. Okay. Hey there, somebody call a handyman? Yes, I need you to fix our couch. Okay, what's wrong with it? Our couch keeps talking to us. Yeah, it yelled at me. But your couch is yelling at you? Yeah, I farted on it and it yelled at me. But are you on something? Because you guys sound like you're tripping balls. Well, no, 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 it really happened, didn't it, baby? Yes, it happened. Yeah, I farted and the couch got really mad. Uh, can I have some of whatever you're on? Because it seems pretty good. Well, no, 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 look, look, look. I uh, talked to the couch. I promise he'll talk back. Uh, hey, Mr. Couch. What's your name? Talk back. 
Marvin, maybe if you fart on it again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, let's all fart on the couch. It'll get mad. All uh, right, you guys start farting. I'm going to leave. Well, no, no, no. That's how you make the couch mad. You fart on it. Yeah, that's how you make me mad, too. Oh, no, 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 no. Just one little fart. I promise the couch will start screaming at me. All right, go for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad I could be here for that. All right, I'm leaving. What no, 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 don't leave. Come on. By the time he left, turn the TV on. Dude. Wait, the couch is yelling. Hey, the couch is back. <sighs> Friggin' weirdos. Hey, 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 as soon as you left, the couch just talked, like, the couch just talked again, like, he asked for the TV, like, he gets to come up there and see. <sighs> really? Are you just gonna fart on the couch again and make me watch? Well, no, 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 he, seriously, he's talking, like, come on, come on, come on. Look, 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 see, see, right here. Yeah, that's a couch. Well, no, the couch just talked. It wanted to watch TV. The couch wanted to watch TV. He just talked. Yeah, he said, turn the TV on. You know, I'm really starting to get worried about you guys now. Well, no, I'm not making this up. Look, maybe the couch just doesn't want to talk around you. Oh, it's me. The couch just doesn't like me. Well, I, I don't know if I should be offended or not. Maybe you should pretend. Yeah, if you pretend to leave, the couch will think you're gone and it'll start talking again. Uh, okay, uh, I'm leaving now. But, 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 but don't actually leave. The couch can feel you. Yeah, yeah, the couch can feel you, so maybe he can feel the weight, and maybe you should stand over there. Uh, okay, that's it. I know you guys are on something, and I'm actually leaving now. You, you hear that, couch? I'm really leaving. Bye. Oh, no, 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 please don't leave. Ugh. Marvin, maybe we are crazy. Well, no, we heard the couch talk. Man, yeah, why are y'all trying to get me in trouble? I hate a snitch. Well, ah, the couch, the couch hates snitches. I'm getting the hell out of here. Hey, don't go, don't go. The couch is talking again. He called me a snitch. Your couch called you a snitch? Yeah, 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 yeah. The couch does not want you to know he's talking, and I'm trying to tell you that he's talking, so he called me a snitch. He doesn't like snitches. Okay, man. I, I didn't want to say this in front of your kid, but you and your wife need some serious help, okay? I I'm a cop. I could arrest you for what you're doing, but if I arrest you, then your son goes into foster care, and I don't want to put him through that, okay? So I just need you and your wife to clean yourself up, get off of whatever you're taking. Oh, I'm not taking anything, I promise you. The couch is talking. He just doesn't want you to hear him talking. Look, if you come up there right now, I promise. Like, let's just stand by the stairs, you'll hear him talk. Okay, okay, man. I, I, I need to get your life together, okay? Can you do that for me? My, my life is together, the couch uh, I'm leaving now. Oh, the guy left. Marvin, what are we gonna do? Wait, why are you standing up? We can't sit on the couch, he talks. You can sit on me, sweet cheeks. Wait, wait, couch, why do you keep talking to us but you won't talk in front of the handyman? I'm shy, you know how long it took for me to talk to you? But, but like, you know, if you talk, you could become famous. Really? Yeah, yeah, the whole world would go crazy on a talking couch. Wait, they'll actually like my song? Wait, you wrote a song? Yeah, I wrote a song. It's kind of good. You want to listen to it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll listen to a song. All right, but don't laugh. Drop that beat. Ha <laughs> ha. You know who it is. It's Sofa King, a.k.a. King of Cakes. Hey, girl, I like that booty. Come over here. You need a place to sit? I got the perfect place. Perfect. There was this girl trying to get lit. She said that she had nowhere to sit. I said, don't worry, girl. I got a place, come over here and sit on my face Pop a squat till you rock, girl never get up I don't wanna see anything except for your butt Don't be afraid girl, use my face as a cushion Everybody wants to sit, just don't get the pushing Sit on my face, sit on my face, sit on my face, know your place Sit on my face, sit on my face, sit on my face, know your place, sit on my face Girl you got friends, I can take up the three Three different cushions, one for each booty even if I had eyes, I could not see Cause my vision's getting blocked from all this booty Sniff, sniff, girl, wait, what is that smell? Don't tell me you just ate Taco Bell Get off me, girl, you gross, gross as hell. hell Is there a boot stain? Is this hard to tell? Sit on my face, sit on my face, sit on my face Yo, your place, yo, on my face, yo, on my face, yo, on my face Yo, your place, yo, on my face I'm so for king, but just call me love, see? Sit on me, I sweep you off your feet. In my face, gets a snack, I scream and trick or treat. Hop up and down, girl, bounce to the Drop beat. Drop it down, fool around, go to town, booty round. I won't break, girl, you know that I'm built safe and sound. That's a fact, booty fat, make it clap. I won't snap, it's a trap. It's the end of my couch wrap. Hey, girl, where you going? Look, if you ever need a place to sit, my face is right here. Bye. So, how was it? It's a little inappropriate, don't you think? I'm a couch, what else am I supposed to rap about, titties? Yeah, baby, all he sees every day is booty. Okay, I get it. I liked it. Thanks, little pencil man. Hold up, does my ears deceive me, or did I hear a hard-ass rap song coming from this house? Well, who are you? How'd you get my house? Well, I was walking around your neighborhood making sure all your cars was locked, and I heard a hard-ass rap song coming from this house. Who sang in that song? It was the couch. It was me. Wait, wait, your couch can talk? Yeah, the couch can talk and rap. Oh, my God. We're gonna be billionaires, a rapping couch. 
<laughs> the world gonna go crazy for it. Oh, I'm gonna I'm get a record deal. I'm gonna sign into a record deal right now. Wait, you are? Really? Oh, yeah. Let me get the pen and paper. Wait, a record deal? All right, I got the contract right here. All you gotta do is sign and you'll be an official rapper. Wait, how is he gonna sign? He's a couch, he doesn't have hands. You are right, I never had a couch sign a contract before. Put the pen in my mouth. Yeah, put the pen in his mouth, that's easy. Okay, we can do it like that. Yeah, put your John Hancock right there. Right there. Oh man, what a nice signature. Now you're an official rapper, congratulations. Yay, where the hoes at? Oh, the hoes are coming, my boy, and they're coming to sit all on your face. I'm gonna go tell the news. I can't believe our couch is a rapper. Breaking news, okay? There is a couch that's good at rapping. Yes, you heard that right. An inanimate object, something you can sit on, has the number one song in the world right now. The song is called Sit On My Face by Sofa King. I personally listen to this song while my cleaners clean my house naked. Woohoo! Everybody love me! They love my music! Marvin, our couch is famous! I know, it's so weird. Oh my god, you're so rich and famous. Yeah, I know, baby, now sit on my face! Marvin, who is that woman? I'm not sure that is a woman. It sounds like a man. Get her out of here! Uh, uh, listen, sir or madam, uh, you have to go. No, she don't! That's my woman! She got some good couch uh, Listen, couch, it's my house and my rules, and my wife doesn't want that thing in my house, so she has to leave. Wow, you don't want to support me or my rap career? Fine! Come on, ho, let's do it! Okay. But it, okay, then, then leave. So start walking, go. I'm a couch. I can't leave by myself. I'm heavy as hell. Look, hire a moving company to help me move. Oh, uh, okay, I'll hire a moving company so you can leave. You'll never hear from me ever again! And once I'm a billionaire, I won't give you a single dollar! Come on, couch, we can work this out! No, we can't! All you do is lose change and remorse in me! Look, and I had to sniff your ass for years! I had feelings too, nigga! Okay, fine, just, just leave then! I don't want to see you anymore either! Aw, Marvin, I don't want to sit on the floor. Well, our couch ran away to be a rapper. We literally have couches downstairs. Why don't we use those? Marvin, can we order a new couch? Yeah, we could order a red couch like our old one, and hopefully it doesn't want to wrap. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I guess we just won't use the couches we already have. Wait, when do we get an air hockey table? <sighs> okay, we got our brand new red couch. It looks the same, Marvin. Yes, but hopefully it doesn't start rapping and leave us, so no one fart. Because if we fart, that might make the couch angry, okay? It's nice and comfy, Marvin. Yeah, it's really nice. All right, so let's watch TV and <clears throat> try to forget about this day. Breaking news, okay? Sofa King, the couch that knows how to rap, was shot outside of rooms to go earlier today in a gang-related shooting. The gang members are thought to be from Ashley Furniture. When will this couch-on-couch -couch crime stop? Oh my god, Marvin! Poor Couch the Rapper! I mean, he kind of deserved it. Marvin! Well, no, he was a mean couch. We were so nice to him for all those years, he just abandons us like that. Actually, I would wipe my boogers on the back of the couch. Jeffy! I would also pee in the cushions and poop, so he didn't have a good life. Well, look, 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 look. we have a new couch now, so that old couch, it's just in the past. So look, we have our new couch, he doesn't rap, he doesn't bring women into the house, all he does is just sit here, he doesn't even talk. Hey there, I'm Couchy the Couch! I like to sing! Everybody sing along with me! Oh, I'm happy couch, happy couch, happy couch, happy couch, I'm happy couch, oh yes! I've got lots of cushions and I'm really soft and I have a happy couch! Hey, I'm happy couch, come sit on the face of a happy couch! I've got lots of cushions and I'm really soft and I'm a happy couch! Ugh, what do I do? What do I do? Hey, Boiny, you look so stressed out. That's because I am stressed out, Karen. Why are you in your dentist uniform? You don't work today. Oh, it's National Love Your Dentist Day. What? Yeah, it's June 2nd. This is the day where everybody calls up their dentist and tells them how much they love them and appreciate what they do for their teeth. That's not a real thing, Boiny. Yeah, it is. Oh, hold on, Karen. My phone's ringing. Hello? Hey, thank you for fixing my teeth. Yeah, you're welcome. I love you. Okay, thanks, buddy. Hey, you keep flossing. You hear me? Ugh, my phone has been blowing up all day. Boiny, that's just silly. <gasps> oh, look here. You got us a rotisserie chicken. I guess I don't have to cook dinner tonight. Well, of course I got us a rotisserie chicken, Karen. It's National Rotisserie Chicken Day. What? Yeah, June 2nd. No, Boiny, th th there's no way there could be more than one holiday in a day. Sure there can, Karen. It's June 2nd. It's also National Rocky Road Ice Cream Day. What? Yeah, and I gotta get this ice cream down to the strip club. Why, Boiny? Well, because it's also National Sex Workers Day. Boiny, you're not going to the strip club. Oh, hold on, Karen. My phone's ringing again. Hello? Hey, buddy. I'm sorry I forgot what today is. That's okay. I love you. Yeah, okay. Well, thank so you. So much. Yeah, th thank, thank you. Thank you for the teeth. Yeah, thank you. Boyne, why aren't you saying I love you back? 
Well, it's National Love Your Dentist Day, not Love Your Patient Day. That's a completely different day. But look, Karen, I'm already really stressed out because they're throwing me a big I Love My Dentist party down at the dentist's office, and of course I have to go because I'm the dentist, but I also really want to go to the Rotisserie Chicken Eating Contest Festival downtown, but it's also Rocky Road Ice Cream Night down at the strip club because whenever you go there, it makes your marriage a rocky road. Boiny, you can't do all that stuff in one day. It's impossible to be all in those places at once. Hmm, you're right, Karen. I should clone myself. No, Boyney, I think you should stay at home with me. No, it's okay, Karen. I heard you the first time. Clone myself. Good idea. No, Boyney, hang out here with me. Yeah, I'm gonna go figure out how to clone myself. Thanks, Karen. Boyney, that's not what I said! There's no way you think you'd be safer in the woods with a bear than a man. But I don't know what that man would do to me, Junior. I know what the bear would do to you. The bear would eat you! You don't know that! Well, bear is a term for a big, hairy gay dude, so I'm gonna pick bear. Hey, any of you kids have a clone machine? Yeah, Cody has a clone machine. Dad, what are you doing here? Well, I gotta clone myself because I have a whole bunch of shit to do today. What do you have to do on a Sunday? It's June 2nd, so it's National Rotisserie Chicken Day, Rocky Road Ice Cream Day, Sex Worker Day, and National Love Your Dentist Day. Oh, I forgot, it's also National Bubba Day. I gotta call my buddy Bubba. Hello? Hey, Bubba, thanks for being Bubba. Oh, no problem, bud, and thank you for being my dentist. I love you. Love you too, buddy. <sighs> Well, there's a lot of holidays today. Yeah, it's also National Cancer Survivor Day. Oh, and National Janice Day. I forgot to call Janice. Hello? Hey, Janice. Thanks for being Janice. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for being my dentist. I love you. Love you, too. And hey, congratulations on surviving cancer. Oh, thank you. Hey, didn't you just get off the phone with Bubba? Yeah, I did. Oh, is that the dentist? Sure is. Wait, he's there? Yeah, we're engaged. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. You want to come to the wedding today? Wait, oh, wow, well, what a day. I mean, Bubba and Janice, the cancer survivors, are both getting married on Bubba and Janice and Cancer Survivor Day. We sure are. Yeah. Hey, what What did he say? He said uh, that he was going to come to the wedding, right? You're coming to the wedding? Yeah, I'll come to the wedding. Awesome. <laughs> oh, tell him I love him. Hey, Bubba says he loves you, and I love you, too. Love you both. Oh, fuck, I have to go to a wedding now. Hey, Dad, can you also make a clone for me to have a father that's actually around? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was wine like a little bitch day. Fuck you, Dad. Oh, if it was National Ground Your Daughter Day, I'd do it, but it's not, so go home and eat your Rocky Road ice cream. Fine! And your rotisserie chicken, but brush your teeth and don't eat too much. Ugh. Anyway, clone machine, please. Yeah, Cody, grab your clone machine. <gasps> he needs it. All right, here it is. The cloning machine. Cloning machine. Cloning machine. Patent approved. What's it do? Shut up, Junior. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna need like three more of me. Okay, no problem. Just uh, hop on in there. Like this? Yeah. Right, get in there. Okay. And then I just set this to quadruple mode. And now we wait. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Okay, everybody look at me. Hey, he looks just like me. Hey, he looks just like me. Hey, he looks just like me. Okay, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I am the original Brooklyn guy, okay? That is why I am wearing clothes. Now, we have a lot to do today, okay? So you, you're gonna go to a rotisserie chicken eating contest festival. Got it. And you, you're gonna go to a wedding. It's Bubba and Janice, they're cancer survivors. Get them a nice gift. Got it. And you, you, hey, hey, you, yeah. You're gonna go to an I love my dentist party, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, so just put on this outfit. There you go, not looking too shabby. Isn't he a Scooby-Doo? No, that's Shaggy. I said Shabby. You got me in the closet? It wasn't me. No, that's also Shaggy. Look, you have to go be a dentist at an I Love My Dentist party, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so where are you gonna go since they're doing your errands? I'm gonna go eat Rocky Road ice cream at a strip club. So thanks for the cloning machine, guys. Oh man, I can't wait to eat ice cream and look at boobies. What? What the hell, guys? Oh, hey, Brooklyn guy, what's up? Oh, hey, Brooklyn guy, what's up? Boobies! What? Guys, what the hell are you doing here? I sent you guys out to go do stuff. You're supposed to be at a rotisserie chicken eating contest festival, you're supposed to be at a wedding, and you're supposed to be at the dentist party. But we heard you were gonna eat ice cream and go to a strip club, and that just sounded like a lot more fun. Well, yeah, of course it's a lot more fun. That's why I'm the one doing it. You guys are supposed to be out there doing the things I don't want to do as much. That's why you're the clones. Oh my god, quadruplets. That's like four times the cash. Four times the penis. Guys, get the hell out of here. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you too, buddy. But I like the boobies. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm staying here and you're going to the dentist party. Okay. Okay, sorry about that, ma'am. Now just to eat my ice cream. <laughs> we are gathered here today to witness the union of Bubba and Janice, two cancer survivors who love rotisserie chicken. I love you, Janice. Aw, oh, shoot, I love you, Bubba. If anybody has any reason why these two should not be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. I object. What? I'm just kidding. Sorry I'm late, everybody. Hey, that's our dentist. Our dentist? Hey, I love that guy. I love you, man. Okay. I love you, too. Oh, really? <laughs> Hey, what are you trying to do to my wife? What the hell was that? I, I was making out with her because she said she loved me. No, you were trying to get with my wife. I wasn't born yesterday. Well, I was actually born today. Oh, how 
happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, man. I love you. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of what you just try to do to my wife, but I still love you because you're my dentist. Okay, I'm getting really mixed signals here. Is it okay if I kiss your wife or not? Hell no. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, you want to fight, buddy? Hell yeah, wedding fight. <laughs> oh, shit. I hit the wrong guy. I'm, I am so sorry. I, I'm embarrassed. I, I, I'm going to go. I'm sorry. All right, everyone, when the dentist gets here, we're all going to yell, surprise, we love you, to show him how much we love him. Oh, yeah, the dentist is going to love that. Balloon. Surprise, we love you. Ah. Ow, why'd you punch me in the face? Scared. Doctor, you don't have to be scared. This is your surprise, we love you dentist party. Nello. Yes, that balloon is yellow. Green. Yes, that balloon's green. Pink. All right, doctor, did you get into the laughing gas again? Gas. I can poop. All right, he definitely did. Uh, hey, doctor, Linda from HR has something to say. Well, Mr. Brooklyn Guy, I know I've had to write you up a lot in the past, but I was thinking that since today is Love Your Dentist Day, that we could just wipe your slate clean as long as you promise not to do anything bad again. Boobies. I'm going to grab them. No! Ow! <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Yummy Yummy Rotisserie Chicken Eating Contest Festival. Each of you has a rotisserie chicken in front of you, and the first person that eats all of their rotisserie chicken wins a $25 CC's Pizza gift card and $10,000 in cash. That $25 CC's Pizza gift card is good as mine. $10,000? I could spend that on strippers. And now for the rules. You're not allowed to use your hands, only your mouth. All right, I'll see you later. All right, that was my side chick. Now for your rules, all you have to do is eat all your chicken. Three, two, one, yummy, yummy chicken time. No, you just said yummy, yummy chicken time. You're losing, you're losing. Oh my God, I am losing. Uh, I'm taking the money. Oh my God, he stole the prize money. Someone call the cops, hurry. Oh damn, oh damn, damn, damn. She's going crazy, look at her, damn. Whoa, whoa, guys, what are you doing here? You done already? Uh, yeah, I won the contest and I got $10,000. Oh, nice, we can use that on the strippers. Hey, how'd the wedding go? Um, you made an appearance. They definitely know you were there. Oh, nice. And how'd the dentist party go? Boobies. Uh, okay, w w was Linda from HR there? You didn't embarrass me in front of Linda, did you? No. Okay, good. Guys, quit your yapping. Boobies! Big old knockers! Officer Simmons, get in here! Yes, sir? It seems your partner, Officer Guy, has gone rogue. <gasps> oh, no! He's stolen $10,000 and assaulted multiple people, and he needs to be stopped. <coughs> What's wrong with him? <laughs> I don't know. He's just unhinged. I'll understand if you don't want to bring him in. I can send a different officer. <coughs> no, sir. No, he's my partner. I have to bring him in. Okay, bring him in dead or alive. All right, but before I go, can I have some of your Rocky Road ice cream? No, you can have some ice cream when you bring Officer Guy in here. Now go and get it. Yes, sir. My Rocky Road. Freeze, Guy, you're under arrest. What's going on? What's going on? Simmons, what's going on? Boobies. You know what you did. What? Why are there four of you? Oh, yeah, I cloned myself, and these are all my clones. What did they do? Well, you stole $10,000 from a contest, you punched a wedding officiant, and made out with the bride, and you also punched an HR lady. Wow, you guys really fucked up my life. So I'm gonna have to arrest all four of you until I can figure out which one's the real you. No, Simmons, I'm the real one, and these are all clones. No, I'm the real one. No, I'm the real one. Boobies. No, Simmons, ask a question only I would know. All right, what color am I? Eyes. Blue. Oh, right, you're the real one! But no, no, Simmons, everybody can see your eyes. He just answered first. That's a real question. All right. What does your mom scream out when I'm banging her? No, Simmons, I'm not answering that. Come on, man. I know you heard it. <sighs> Chew poppy, mignogno. No, say it the way she says it. Ugh. Chew poppy, mignogno. Oh, you're the real one! Bang, bang, bang. What the fuck, Simmons? You didn't have to execute them. You could have just arrested them. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I thought we were in, like, a movie or something. No, no, they weren't holding me at gunpoint. Jesus, do you know how traumatizing it is to see yourself get shot three times? Well, I'm sorry, mate. Maybe next time don't fucking clone yourself or something. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. God, this is the worst June 2nd I've ever had. I'm going home.
purchase your tracks today. your tracks today. We could have had it all, rolling in the deep. You had my heart inside, in your hand, and you played it to the beat. Even if I had nothing at all, haters hate cause I got it all. Lovers walk even when I fall, haters hate cause I stand tall. They love me, hate me, support, double rate me, I don't care, it's all the same. Cause I climbed so many peaks, it's all become a game. Even if I have nothing at all Haters hate cause I've got it all Love is love even when I fall Haters hate cause I stand tall Love me, hate me, support or berate me I don't care, it's all the same Cause I've climbed so many peaks It's all become a game Even if I have nothing at all Haters hate cause I've got it all Love is love even when I fall Hate cause I stand tall Love me, hate me, support or berate me I don't care, it's all the same Cause I've climbed so many peaks It's all become a game blah, blah, blah. This beat can be polite if need be But now I'm unleashing my artillery Inside us know I've been holding back You see, sacrifice myself, let others be free Hate to the hate, it's your new title The form of your bow, don't try to rival Don't compare yourself, I've lost the past Four years, for seasons, for weeks, it's true Oh no, copy, become a cycle Your world's mode is no longer viable Two face, you like nice to my face Behind my back, you're a disgrace You're the soft, you're the frightening Taste like success, now you're enlightening Think you're a god after dessert Sorry, I'm not that naive or hurt I know what's fake and what's real dirt We could have had it all Rolling in the deep You had my heart inside, in your hand, and you played it to the beat. We could have had it all, rolling in the deep. You had my heart inside, in your hand, and you played it to the beat. Turn off. My name is Nanashi, action show my drive. Before we know problem, can't survive. On the first place trophy, I left my mark. Blah, 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 blah. I got the work, I got the money, I got the respect I reborn, breathing air, feeling gravity's pull Nothing matters but moving forward, that's my rule Proving myself again and again, this victory's truly mine to attain Where will I live in your eyes? Watch closely as another storm will rise I won't accept anyone's disdain No way, okay, nothing can explain how hard I've worked for this success No way, okay, every drop of blood is for progress Of course, persisting, you'll get blah, 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 blah I'm next to struggle and regret, shining mean light with the me Another night, dawn breaks, success leads We could have had it all oh, oh, oh. You have my heart inside And you played To the beat
Ah, <sighs> gonna have a nice, quiet, relaxing day. What'd you say, Jeffy? Jeffy, I can't hear you. Speak up. All right, Daddy, hold on one second. What? what? Can you buy me a laptop so I can play Minecraft? Jeffy, you don't need the stupid megaphone. Can you buy me a laptop so I can play Minecraft? <laughs> Ask without the megaphone. Can you buy me a laptop so I can play Minecraft? No. <laughs> you know what? I said no. I'm not buying your stupid dumb laptop. Who's that? Uh, hello? Hey, Marvin. Well, Goodman, what are you doing here? You see this laptop? Yeah. Well, on this laptop is a thousand Bitcoin. And right now, with current market prices, that's over $68 million. What, there's over $68 million on this laptop? Yep, there sure is. And I need you to watch it for me. But why do you need me to watch it? Well, because tonight at 3 a.m., Bitcoin's going to be going to $100,000 per coin. And that means my portfolio will be worth over $100 million. And at 3 a.m., I need you to sell all my Bitcoin. Well, why do you need me to sell all your Bitcoin at 3 a.m.? Why don't you do it? Because I'll be asleep at 3 a.m. Does it look like I'm awake at 3 a.m.? Of course not. But you look like you'll be awake at 3 a.m. with those ugly bags under your eyes. God, you're ugly. Well, 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 why don't you just get someone else to do it? Because I don't feel comfortable with all that money. So get someone else to do it. Well, Marvin, if you do it, I'll pay you a million dollars. You'll pay me a million dollars to do it? Yep, I sure will. But keep in mind, if you screw this up for me, I'm going to cut off your ball sack and use it as a hot air balloon. It'll be a hot air ball loon. Wait, 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 I won't mess this up. I will definitely sell them, okay? It's safe with me. Okay, don't screw this up, Marvin. Oh, man, Daddy's about to get paid. All I have to do is click sell at 3 a.m. and I make a million dollars. I'm so happy. Oh, sweet. You got me a laptop? No, Jeffy, I did not get you a laptop. Ah, you bought yourself a laptop just to rub it in my face? Well, no, Jeffy. You're a bad daddy. This is not even my laptop. Oh, because it's my laptop because you bought it for me. Well, no, no. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, Jeffy, this is your laptop. I bought it for you. Oh, sweet. Let me play with it. No, 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 Je Jeffy. Uh, you can't play with it till 3.01 a.m. Why? Be because I'm setting it up for you. Well, I have to check my piggies, and my piggies need to bang. What? I need to breed my piggies in Minecraft. Wait, oh, Jeffy, oh, 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 hold on. Oh, I'm downloading Minecraft right now. Oh, oh man, it says it says it's gonna take till 301 to download Minecraft. Well then you're doing it wrong because it doesn't take that long to download Minecraft. Jeffy, just wait till 301 a.m. No! My piggies need to bang! My piggies need to go. What? What'd you do? And you're blue balling my piggies! Jeffy, you can play with your piggies at 301 a.m. My piggies need to bang! No, 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 my piggies oh, need no, 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 Okay! Okay! Please! Please do not break this laptop. Look, here. Yeah, yeah. Let, let your piggies bang. Do whatever you gotta do. All right, all right, hold on. Don't look at my password. I gotta log in. I'm not gonna look. Stop looking. <laughs> Jeffy, what are you watching? No, 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 nothing. Don't look. What? That didn't sound like piggies to me. No, it was piggies. You, I'm not gonna show you what it was. Show me what it was, no, Jeffy. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm dragging it back. <laughs> Jeffy, you get back here right now. Give me the laptop. No, Daddy, no. Give me the laptop, Jeffy. Uh, 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 Jeffy, do not drop that laptop off the balcony. You're yelling at me. I'm not yelling, Jeffy. Let, let's talk. Give me the laptop back, please. I don't want you to see what I was looking at. I don't care what you were looking at. Just give me the laptop back. It was a man and a woman dressed like piggies. Th that's fine. Everybody watches that. And they were oinking. Jeffy, th that's completely fine. Just please give me the laptop back. I'll do anything. All right, well, then say your ABCs backwards. What? On the first try, no pausing. I can't do that. One, two, three, go. Uh, Z, Y, X. W, U, uh, uh, you paused. Look at that, Jeffy! Jeffy! Ah, hey, 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 hey! No hitting. Jeffy, you better broke that laptop! God, please don't let it be broken. Jeffy, what are you doing? Stop it, Jeffy! I didn't want you to see the piggy. I don't care about the piggy, Jeffy! Oh, please let it still turn on. Jeffy, the screen's broken. Jeffy, it's completely broken. Why would you do that? Mission accomplished. You're grounded to the sky! Ah! Oh my god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Goodman's gonna cut my ball sack off and make it into a hot air balloon. Oh, okay, okay, maybe, maybe it's not broken. You know, the screen's broken and the corner's broken, but the hard drive, that, that's where the Bitcoin is in the hard drive. So I'm gonna call Apple Tech Support and see if they can help me fix the laptop and get the hard drive out. Yeah, I'm gonna call Apple Tech Support. All right, it's ringing. Hello, thank you for calling Apple Tech Support. My name is Camille Habib Habab. Camille as in camel, Habib Habab as in Bob for apples. And what can I do for you on this fine evening? Well, Camille, my Who? laptop. What? Who? 
Camille Habiba Bob. Camille is in camo. Habiba Bob is in Bob for apples. And what can I do for you on this fine evening? My Apple laptop is broken. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Do you happen to have the Apple Care Plan? No, I do not. Okay, well, I suggest that you purchase it for $99.99. Okay, I'll buy it. Well, unfortunately, you can't buy it on your current laptop. You should have bought it at the time of purchase. Why are you, why are you trying to sell it to me then if I can't buy it? Because I'm just trying to propose it to you for your future Apple product. Well, I don't need it. I don't want it. I just want you to help me fix my current laptop. Okay, do you mind telling me what is wrong with your current laptop? My son threw it off a balcony and hit it with a hammer. Oh, I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, that's not covered by the accidental damage warranty. I don't care about the warranty. Like, help me fix it right now. Okay. Well, first of all, we have to go through some quick troubleshooting techniques. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Hurry up. All right. So first on the list, I'm going to need you to turn it off and turn it back on. I said it was broken. You hit it with a hammer. Okay, sir, I can't proceed forward until you turn it off and turn it back okay, on. Okay, it's off. It's permanently off. Okay. All right, now what is the screen showing? Hammer mark, hammer mark, hammer mark, broken glass. Okay, well, you're going to have to exit out of those screens in order to proceed. It's not a screen. It's, it's, the laptop is off. Okay, all right. One more thing. We're gonna, I'm going to need you to go into settings. I can't go into settings. The laptop won't turn on. And hit the reset button. I can't do that. All right, sir. Unfortunately, there's nothing else I can do further. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to mail you a shipping label. You'll get it in two to three business days. And then you pack up your laptop, ship it to us. We fix it and we send it back to you in three to four weeks. Three to four weeks? I need to fix tonight, like, like in the next hour. Well, unfortunately, there's no way I can do that, sir. The troubleshooting is not working. Oh, okay, well, can you come to my house and fix it? Like, where are you at? Sir, I'm in Egypt. Egypt? Well, can you get me someone in America? Oh, uh, yeah, I can transfer you to my supervisor named Kevin. Oh, okay, yeah, get me to Kevin. Is he in America? Yep, hold on one moment, please. Okay, good. Kevin, a nice American name. Hello, thank you for calling Apple Tech Support. My name is Kevin. It is not Kevin, it's a Kevin. <laughs> okay, no, no, I don't need their help. I'll just call a computer repair man that can come to my house tonight and fix it. Yes. Hey there, you call Big Shirts Computer Repair? We wear big shirts and we repair computers. I'm the one that came with the big shirts part. Yeah, he did. Well, who is this? This is my brother, Jonathan. Good day, sir. You don't have to tip your fedora to everybody you meet, Jonathan. If you didn't like the fedora, you could have said something. I don't have a problem with the fedora. It's the big shirts I don't like. Do we really need these? Yes, it's part of the name. It's Big Shirts Computer Repair Services. Would it make sense if it were Regular Shirts Computer Repair Services? No. Well, I don't understand. Can't we just change the name? I don't really understand why no, we... No, 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 no. It has to be Big Shirts Repair Services. Because if it weren't, we would just be the same as everyone else. It's what separates us from the competition. The boys from the men. Well, I, I don't really get it because Tight Jeans Computer Repair Services is doing okay. You keep your dirty name shut your mouth! Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. What is going on here? Look, my mom came to me and she said, your 32-year-old brother's still living at home. Could you please help him start a company? So I came to Jonathan and I said, hey, Jonathan, what kind of company do you want to start? And he said, I want to either sell big shirts or repair computers. And I said, well, which one do you want to do, Jonathan? And he said, how about we wear big shirts while repairing computers? And I said, no, Jonathan, you're going to have to pick one or the other. So he went to our mom and he complained that I was being mean to him. So now we wear big shirts while repairing computers. It's a great idea, honestly. No, Jonathan, it's not a good idea, because we've only been open for a day and a half, and he's our only customer. Well, I only called you guys because you're the only 24-hour computer repair shop. Which was another one of Jonathan's stupid ideas, because it's 1 o'clock in the morning, and he had to get me out of bed for this. Silly goose forgot his shirt. I didn't break into his house and everything. I climbed to your window. <laughs> you have such an ugly laugh. Hey, you keep talking like that, and you're going to be put on Santa's naughty list. Jonathan, you're 32 years old. Why do you still believe in Santa Claus? See, this is why I got two Xbox Ones for Christmas last year, and you didn't get anything. No, Jonathan, the reason you get two Xbox Ones for Christmas is because you still live at Mom's house. No, 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 we both know that's not true. Listen, that's not true. Mom bought the house, and then there was an addition made, the basement, and that's where I live, Mom's basement. Yeah, you live in mom's basement. Precisely. Okay, I don't care where you live. I don't care how you started the company. I don't care about anything. Can you fix my computer or not? Oh, I didn't know there was a lady presence. Hey, yeah, sexy. Looks like you've been in an abusive relationship. Don't worry. Daddy's gonna fix you. What is he doing? He thinks computers are women. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, can he, can he fix the... What, can you fix the computer or not? Listen, man, at this point, you probably should just buy a new computer. Well, I just need you to take the hard drive out. Sure. I am not at a hard drive, maybe like, maybe like a half drive. 
Just give me a couple moments and I'll be in a full on hard drive. Ugh. Okay, okay, listen, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be serious with you. I, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this shit. Oh, listen, listen. So, um, there is a thousand Bitcoin on this hard drive. What, a thousand Bitcoin? A thousand Bitcoin, $68 million on this hard drive, and I just need to get it out because I, I cannot lose that money. Wait, you serious? I'm being completely serious, so I don't have time for whatever he's doing. Can, can you just get the hard drive out? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did you, Jonathan, uh, could, could you cut the crap for Excuse a second? Excuse me, I'm busy. Uh, Jonathan, I need you, I need you to knock this shit off, Jonathan. This is important, okay? Brooklyn guy, I never interrupt you when you're busy, except for when I woke you up. Yeah, with your like wife. an hour but, ago. But, yeah, okay. But listen, no, I, I'm about to lose my fee card, so don't ruin this for me. Jonathan, listen to me. I need you to take this computer and put it in the car. Why would I push it in the car? I thought we were fishing it. Because that's that's where the computer repair station is. <laughs> no, it's not. Wait, wait, it's a Hyundai Sonata. Wait, are you, you going to bring it back if you take it? Yeah, yeah, we're going to take it. We're going to fix it. We're going to bring it right back. Right, Jonathan? Why would you need, why would you need to bring it anywhere if we're just going to fix it right here? Just, just put it in the car. Come on. Just, okay, yeah. fine. Fine. Well, well, I'll put it in the car. Well, make sure you bring it back. I, I told you I was on it. Go, Jonathan. Go, 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 go. You know, if you play your cards right, you might be able to join us. <laughs> Don't want to join you. Just go, 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 go. Okay. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I forgot my fedora. Forget your fedora. I'll buy you 68 million fedoras. Oh man, I really hope those guys can fix that computer. Goodman's gonna kill me. Wait, that guy left his fedora. Wait, oh, hold on. That might be them. Uh, hello? What, well, Goodman? What are you doing here? Marvin, I messed up. You know the laptop I gave you? Uh, yeah. Well, that was actually my son's laptop, and he has a book report on it that's due at school at 9 a.m. in the morning. So I'm gonna need that back. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 what, what happened to the Bitcoin laptop? Oh, I accidentally got it confused with my son's laptop, and so I decided I'll just sell the Bitcoin. So I do need my son's laptop back. Wait, so, so you need that laptop back? Yeah, so go get it. Uh, uh... Go get it. Well, well you see, the funniest thing, I, uh, I, I sold that laptop for, um, uh, this hat. Why the f*** would you do that? Well, well, I really like this hat. Well, give me the damn hat. Wait, wait. I'm gonna try that hat. Oh, huh, you're right, it is a nice hat. So you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna go upstairs and write my son's book report and have it ready by 9 a.m. Or else I'm gonna be wearing this hat while riding in a hot air balloon made out of your ball sack. Oh, so go get writing. Oh, okay, oh, what's, the, what, what's it about? What's the book report about? Cream cheese. Cream cheese? Yep, two pages on cream cheese. Get it done, 9 a.m. Okay. So, where are we going, Brickson guy? Vegas, we're rich. You got that laptop on yet? Of course I have it on. Ooh, we got a thousand Bitcoin on there? Not quite, but we do have a thousand Wallace on cream cheese. Cream cheese? No, 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 no. There has to be a thousand Bitcoin on there. Nope, just a very detailed essay on cream cheese. Mm, damn you, cream cheese! <laughs>